If you've never used Thunar on your Raspberry Pi or your RetroPie build, then you need to watch this video because today I'm going to show you how to use Thunar to update your Mega Drive theme to Genesis and PC Engine to Turbo Graphics on your RetroPie menu. Thunar is a great file manager tool that's used for Linux based applications. And today I'm going to show you two methods on how to update that Mega Drive to Genesis and PC Engine to Turbo Graphics. But first, I know a lot of you are saying, well, I already have this option in my RetroPie menu to change Mega Drive to Genesis and so, so forth. But what I want you to understand is using Thunar can help you in more file editing for config files or game lists or whatever else you do on your RetroPie build. Now I am going to show you two methods for changing these themes on your RetroPie main menu. And the first one is to go into your terminal and do it right from there. For this example, you'd hit F4 to get to the terminal and you'd go to the directory ETC emulation station. Now you probably won't have permission to access this folder and that's one of the reasons I don't recommend this as you'll have to do a chmod script or some other tool to gain access to this folder. And if you mess that up, it can be destructive to your RetroPie build. If you do have access and you want to do it this way instead of using Thunar, then you're going to go sudo nano es underscore systems dot config and you're going to bring up the file in the terminal and we're going to edit it right from here. Now you don't have to change every field in the system directory here, uh, but I like to just make it right and change the name, change the full name to Sega Genesis. Uh, make sure my path, which is where the ROMs are stored, is correct. You don't have to change that. If you have it in Mega Drive, that's fine. Change the platform. And here is the most important part, the theme right here. You're going to change the theme to Genesis. The theme is really all you need to correct, but I like to have the file information correct overall, so I change it accordingly. Now, once you're done, you're going to hit Control X. It's going to ask you to save. Yes, you're going to save. Then you're going to exit emulation station will reboot and now when you look at your genesis or mega drive it will be changed to sega genesis now let's use thunar to update the pc engine to turbo graphics theme now first you're going to need to install the thunar application that's sudo apt install thunar from the terminal simply hit f4 to get to the terminal hit yes to install let it go through the script and install then exit out, let Emulation Station reboot, and then head on over to your desktop application in your ports menu. Now, if you don't have Pixel Desktop installed, you're going to want to go to the RetroPie menu. Go ahead and head down to the RetroPie setup. Go down to Configuration Tools. Then you're going to scroll down to Raspbian Tools. And then you're going to go to Install Pixel Desktop Environment. Once you go through those steps to install, you now have the Ports menu and you will have Desktop option in that menu. We're going to open that up. We're going to go to the menu up in the top left down to System Tools, and you will see Thunar File Manager installed. We're gonna do one change to the application first. We're gonna to go to Desktop Entry, and you're gonna make sure sudo is before Thunar in this command. This is gonna give you root permission, and that should allow you access to the ETC Emulation Station subfolder. Go ahead and click OK when done. You can also add a file manager short top to your desktop by hitting right click as well. We're going to execute Thunar. We are going to go to the file system root menu. And then we're going to click ETC. Then emulation station folder. And ES systems config simply double clicking will open it. And now we're going to find our PC engine system and we're simply going to type over the data in this file. 
Again, you don't have to change all the data in here, but I like it to be accurate. So I'm going to change the name to TurboGrafx-16, full name, TurboGrafx-16. I will make sure my path, this is where the ROMs are. I put my ROMs in the TG-16 folder. So I'm going to change this to TG-16. You can leave it as PC Engine if you want. And then the platform I'm going to change to TG16 and the theme to TG16. And that is what is going to update that image to TurboGrafx16. We're simply going to go file, save, exit out with a logout, reboot emulation station. And now when we look at our main menu and we go to our TurboGrafx or PC Engine, you will see the TurboGrafx16 logo. Now that you have Thunar installed, you can use it for many other file management edits. So keep that in mind next time you need to edit a file. And hey, please leave a thumbs up and thanks for watching.